you guys, San Francisco is absolutely full of tattoo history. These artists have a lot to live up to then, and we're walking right into that tattoo history as we speak. Hello, ladies. Oh, Welcome hey. to Tattoo City. How are you doing? How are you? Hi. Good, good. Nice to meet you. Good to All meet right. you. Today, we're tattooing at Ed Hardy's shop. Ed Hardy is a legend in the tattoo industry and one of the founders of American tattooing as we know it. Hey, Kelly. Oh, thanks, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's it How going? You? Great. It's good to see you. It's an honor just to be here and in front of you. Thank and you. you know, the, what, everything that you've done in modernizing tattooing is fantastic. That's the thing. What yeah. year did you start tattooing? I started tattooing in 67. What was tattooing like at that point? Well, it was just very limited. There, I think there were about 500 tattooers in all of North America, right? In those days, in a sense, tattoo shops were just, that's what we have, that's what you'll get. Yeah. It was a completely different world. It's so, it's blown my mind that I got into it early enough and I live long enough to see it change. Yeah. It's fantastic. The whole reason that we're even able to have this opportunity is because of pioneers like yourself yeah. who really paved the way for us. It's really cool, you know. Yeah. Thank right. you for letting us use you. your shop okay. today. Okay, have a good time. All right, bye. Have a great vacation, Dad. Yep, thanks so much. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys. Have fun. You have quite the dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's quite the guy. Some big shoes to fill, huh? They are the biggest shoes on the earth, I think. My name's Doug Hardy. I've been tattooing for 25 years. Carrying the Hardy name is very important. Tattooing would not be the way it is today if it wasn't for my father. But at the same time, I am my own person. My style is traditional Americana, black line, shading, and good solid color. Do you like to compete? I'm not out to get anyone, but I want people to come to me and challenge me because it just makes me want to go and pump up harder. If I lose, then that means another great tattooist is just pumping it up. But I'm not gonna lose, I'm here to win. My name is Funk, I've been tattooing for seven years. I'm a self-taught tattoo artist. I'm good at abstract tattooing, watercolors, oil paint, and trash poker. Funk means beef, and I don't back down for no fight. So if you want the funk, come get me. Hey, who's hey, what's up, Angels? Uh -huh. The champ is here. Oh, oh, you're gonna come into this shop and say that, eh? No, man. No, man, you're not gonna do that? No, all right, all right. You're gonna press the great, you need to bow to me, bro. You better come in and bring your A game, man. Well, okay, old man. Welcome to the competition. Tell us about your history of tattooing. How did you start? I'm a self-taught artist. I'm from West Open. I can have a lot. I've always been an artist and didn't know how to get myself out of my situation. So I started airbrushing. Somebody stole my car, my airbrush equipment was in there. I had nowhere else to turn to to make money as an artist. One of my boys bought me my first kit. It's all history from there. That's awesome. There's still one more competitor that's on their way and they'll be here any minute. Oh man, he don't matter. My name's Daniel Silva, and I've been tattooing for two and a half years. My tattoo specialty is black and gray, realism, and geometric work. Even though I'm inexperienced, I put the hard work, I put the dedication in, it's gonna bring me to the top. Hey, you in the wrong spot, bro. I think the <laughs> Yacht Club over that way. <laughs> so how long have you been tattooing? I've been tattooing for about two and a half years now. Oh, okay. Oh. New guy. You're just a bead. Oh, baby, we wear this diaper and stuff. No worries, no worries. So since it was so recent, why did you start tattooing? I've always been an artist since day one, and coming out of like high school and whatnot, I definitely knew I wasn't gonna get a real job. So you don't oh. think tattooing is a real job? I do think it is a real job, but at the same time, I don't have to report to anybody. Full self-taught, no apprenticeship whatsoever. It's funny, we have two tattooers that have been self-taught, and one tattooer who's been tattooing for 25 years with Ed Hardy as his dad. I'm looking forward to this. It should be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Being in a place like this that is one of the birthplaces of American tattooing, we expect that we're going to see the absolute best out of all three of you just to honor where we are today. You bet. Unfortunately, Gia can't be here with us today. So the three of us are going to be the sole judges for this entire competition. Do you guys right. have any questions? What are we supposed to do? Here's how this competition works. There are two elimination rounds, with one of you getting eliminated each round. The person that gets through the first two rounds will move on to face off against one of us. If that person beats one of us, they will automatically win a spot on Ink Master Season oh, 10. yeah! <laughs> Let's do this, man. All right, are you guys ready for your first elimination tattoo? Yeah, yeah let's go. You're going to have two hours to tattoo any style, any subject, but it has to be on 
the neck. That ain't a cool spot. I can safely say that the back of my neck was one of the most painful tattoos that I have. I cried and expelled a lot of face juice. For these tattoos, we're going to be judging on style, shading, outline, and your overall application. One of you will be eliminated today. I'm going to send a baby home today. <laughs> All right, you guys, go get set up, and we're going to go grab your canvases. Let's do this, man. OK, you guys have two hours to do a tattoo any style, any subject, on the neck. And your time starts now. Right. Neck tattoos are extremely difficult. Every person has a different type of skin back there, and you never really know what you're going to get. How's your pain tolerance? This is a spot that sees a lot of the sun. I want to see clean, beautiful black line work. That is what's going to stand the test of time. Have you competed before? No. It's my first time competing. Oh, this is a hell of a first competition. I'm used to hitting the ground running. Today, I'm going to do a trash poke of Divine Eye. We're going to have some darks. I want to throw some color in it, put a little funk in the tattoo. Got this competition going on. Some of the best artists in the Bay I'm going against. I grew up in the projects. My faith is really important to me. I was raised in church, and it kept me out of trouble. I pray before every tattoo. We're going to see what the Lord is going to do. It's a pretty detailed tattoo for two hours. Yes, it is. I'm doing the tiger and geometric work. Even though it's on the back of the neck and it's a super hard area to tattoo, it's going to have a lot of detail and a lot of precision. Being the underdog, I know I have to prove myself. Out of high school, I got into a lot of trouble. I ended up going to jail for about a year. Once I found tattooing, I knew that was something I could really find success with. Remember when I was like tattooing in the garage, like my first tattoo on you? Yeah, you've come a long way, bud. That's awesome. What really means the most to me is not only proving to you guys that's been supporting me over the years, but to myself that I can become the best artist that I can be. This area is super fun to tattoo, huh? Yeah, it's my favorite. Standing up is it's awesome so far. One hour left. So it turns out that he's just as much of a big fan of cats as I am. I like that this is a meeting of the cat ladies. I'm going to be doing a beautiful cat inside of a flower. You'll be able to see this canvas's neck from across the street and say, look at that cool cat. My earliest memories visiting my father in tattoo shops, I really want to make sure that I put out my best work so everyone knows what can come out from here. You've been around it your whole life, so it's your crazy destiny, right? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> So you're going full color? Yep. I have bold lines that are clean and concise. I think I'm going to be winning this. Oh, you got a right they give me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop tattooing. Whew, Nailed it. This was so fun to do. I expected a lot from Doug's tattoo. Being traditional is supposed to be strong and bold, and I don't think you've brought that today. Oh, you. Yeah. Funk was trying to do a trash polka tattoo, but really, he just did trash. Woo! My tattoo's going to take it home. All right, ladies, what are we thinking? I can't really conceive of what might have happened with Funk's tattoo. It looks like somebody just kind of peeped some confetti on there for no reason. His concept is there but the entire top of the triangle is not a straight line. All of the eyelashes are just thrown in there super unnaturally. He does need to work on the basics, like line work. Doug paid attention to line work. My problem was with his color choices. It's all just kind of pale purples and blues. It really right. didn't make much sense. In terms of a technical level, Daniel obviously knows how to lay in a beautiful tattoo, which is insane considering mm -hmm. he's self-taught. There were a couple problems with 
those geometric shapes, like behind the mouth of the tiger, he should have reversed it and had the black behind the teeth to make the teeth pop. And where the ears are is starting to fade into the geometry. It's just moving wicked fast. Yeah. It's aerodynamic as hell, but it could still use some ears. You ready to make a big decision? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. The tattoo wasn't saturated. Somebody that do saturation and do traditional tattoos should have did way better than you did. Man. Mine, you actually want to get closer to it and see the detail. Yours, you want to stay back from it. You don't oh, even want to yeah, I see how it is. I That's how it is. No, no, no man. Your tattoo well, you guys gone. ready to find out who won, or Let's no? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Guys, we're here to find the best, because there is a lot on the line here. After a lot of deliberation, we have decided that the winner of today's elimination tattoo is Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh. Not only did you take on a lot of risky choices by using geometric designs that needed perfectly equidistant negative space, you were also able to accomplish very rich black work. Thank you. <laughs> Which unfortunately means, Funk, Doug, one of you will be eliminated. Doug? The main thing that we noticed is that very solid, strong outline. I just wish that you had followed it up with a little bit more black when it came to the shading. Funk. We like the overall concept, but it could have benefited from more clean lines and more smooth shading. I wanted to do more like a spray painting style. As it ages, those things that look kind of cool and messy are going to look just completely indecipherable over time. It was a very hard decision. We've decided that the artist who will be eliminated today is 